So the first brain region I want to talk about is the cerebrum, which you already know is made up of the cerebral cortex and the basal nuclei. And it's the largest of the brain region in invertebrates. So first, let's start by taking a frontal section or coronal section. So slice down this way and see what that looks like. A lot of what we see there is going to be part of the cerebrum. Um, what exactly we see is going to depend on how far front or forward or back we cut. Um, but so we're choosing one here. Um, cerebral cortex is the outer layer. Basically, this would be a chunk of cerebral cortex. There is white matter. All this white stuff is white matter. That's axons, myelinated axons, right? That's why it's white. The gray matter are brain nuclei. So gray matter is those things there, but also the very edge of the cortex here. Um, the cortex of gray matter, there it is. Okay. Um, this kind of region right here, where it says brain nuclei, this is our basal nuclei. Nuclei because there's more than one nucleus there, more than one region. Okay. So let's talk about each of these regions, cerebral cortex and basal nuclei. Um, first, a little bit more about the um, cerebral cortex is really what I wanna call this uh, slide. We're going to basically zoom in to a chunk of this here and show you what is there. So here, that same kind of idea, um, this, this, there's six layers that are layers of cell bodies that make up the gray matter. So this through through here, this is all gray matter because it's primarily cell bodies. That's what all these little dots are, are the nuclei. Over on the picture on the right, you can see a little bit of the dendrites. And then there are axons where one neuron layer of neurons connects to another. So when I say gray matter is made up of cell bodies, that's a little bit misleading or oversimplified because it's a collection of cell bodies that have to connect to other ones right within that area. So here is a cell body, dendrites coming off of it, axon, uh, I think going that way, hard to tell. That would be here as well, right? So maybe this looks like this. So within the gray matter, this is an axon. Oftentimes, they're, they're not always myelinated, um, and it's there's a whole lot of cell bodies. It makes it actually gray. The white matter is down here, um, and this is actually fairly thick. So that's where the information from all of these layers of the cerebral cortex, um, after it's integrated and the processed, it's going to go somewhere else in the central nervous system. Typically, first, the, like the diencephalon, sometimes the thalamus. Um, so this is the cerebral cortex, kind of the setup. Outer layer of tissue is the um, gray matter. High surface area means a lot more cells there to do a lot more processing um, with then white matter deep to that so that this information can be transmitted and information can be provided to the cerebral cortex as well. So then throughout the brain, the cerebral cortex has a different function depending on um, what where we are. So you've probably seen a kind of a map like this, tons of different specified areas. Um, we're not gonna learn all of them in this class. Uh, just a little bit of orientation. Here is our central sulcus. And just in front of that, there's the, the motor cortex. So that's what's here, primary motor cortex. So involved in motor control, conscious motor control. Um, sensory cortex, the primary, primary somatosensory cortex is what's involved in conscious touch. Um, so sensation, but primarily um, not the special senses like vision, but instead things like touch throughout the body. Oh, I do have these pop up here. So there's two of those um, I just talked about. 
The other couple that we are going to want to know about um, are ones related to taste. So the gustatory cortex is related to taste. The visual cortex is back in the occipital lobe. So vision and I'm not sure why I don't have auditory cortex. So hearing is in the temporal lobe. And we should be good with that. Okay. Obviously, a whole lot of other specialized areas um, as well that you could do for an extra credit. Okay, second component of the cerebrum is deep to this, so not the cortex, but the, those deep nuclei um, called the basal nuclei. So if we're taking a, a, another frontal section, um, we're looking at this region in here, deep to the cerebral cortex. Um, the, this, these nuclei, more than one of them, are involved in um, integration to adjust the body during ongoing movements. So involved in motor control. And not the initiation of the movement, because that was that premotor cortex, but involved in adjusting body position. Um, information comes um, from the motor areas of the cortex from the cerebellum um, and from other places in the, in the central nervous system to integrate and make subconscious adjustments to body position, limb position, um, to adjust motor output.